I'm Angela Yee. Mayno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New Mayno. Good morning. You in New York this week? Or yes. What are we doing? Yes, All right. man. Shout out to my brother Herbie getting married. Ah, oh, congratulations. Yeah. How long were they together before they... For eternity, like 100 years. Okay. All right. Well, good. Yeah. <laughs> congratulations, Herbie. That's right. All right. Well, we're going to get this show started today. We got Mario Carbone joining us. Maybe you get him a reservation at Carbone after this all. I mean, why not? You know, people were selling reservations to Carbone and really? making a ton of money. But we'll talk about all of that later. Mario Carbone, one of the owners of Carbone, is going to be joining us today. It's also Carbone Beach coming up this weekend. And it's Wealth Wednesday. So we'll discuss everything that he has going on business-wise, how he got to have one of the hottest restaurants in the world, really. All right. But let's get the show started with some love and positivity. Let's shine a light. 800-292-5150. Call us up and let us know who you want to shine a light on. It's way up. I'm a shine. I'm a I'm a shine. Turn your lights on, y'all. Turn your lights on. Spreading love to those who are doing greatness. Shine a light on them. Shine a light on them. It's time to shine a light on them. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Mano's here. No, yeah. Mano. Yesterday, you shined a light on your daughter, Gia That's Bella. right. My little baby. Your little baby. Today, I want to shine a light on somebody who I ran into on Friday. She was getting honored by the mayor and small businesses mm-hmm. here in New York City. And that would be Michelle Gadsden Williams. Now, she's a DEI executive. And when I first met her, it was about her book, Climb. And then I'm in her book, Driven by Intention. You're in her book? Yes. That's also out right now. But she's the managing director and global head of diversity, equity, and inclusion for BlackRock. So she's responsible for further strengthening and and accelerating the company's efforts to foster an inclusive culture. But she has more than 25 years of experience as an advocate for equality within corporate America. She's been doing this work, Mm. which is actually how I first met her. But shout out to her. You know what BlackRock is? No. It's the world's largest asset manager with $10 trillion in assets under management. Okay? We talking about money. Trillions. That's the only talk I want to talk about, baby. All right. Well, we shine a light on you, Michelle Gadsden Williams. Now, who do you guys want to show some love to? 800-292-5150. Chef Mark, how are you? I'm good. How about yourself? What's your secret? (laughs) No, it's not a secret. He's shining a light. People be too mad about telling us a secret. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. No, but I want to shine the light on my beautiful virtuous queen, Michelle Power, for all that she does for our family. Also, on the lady I drive for, Miss Keisha Lee, the owner of Melanin Excellence Medical Transportation. She's the biggest boss that I've seen thus boss, far. The and I'm boss. way up to Chef Mark, second to none. All and right. man, I ain't got no secrets, man. Uh, okay, okay, bro. Yeah, you can't shine a light on your wife and then so tell a secret good, about man. it. So good, man. Shout out to your wife, man. And shout, and, and shout out to you, brother. Thank you, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all stay way up, because I'm going to be way up. Peace and hey. bless I love him. He gave us 10 drops just now for the show that's, that we can use. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. All right. Well, that was Shine a Light. Thank you guys for calling. You can always leave a message, 800-292-5150, and shine a light that way. It's also May 1st, so make sure y'all pay them bills, okay? <laughs> I got to remind myself, too. It's way up. Bills ain't going to pay themselves. Shh. This is a judgment-free zone. Tell us a secret. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Mayno's in the New building. Mayno. New, New Mayno. New Mayno. And it's time for you guys to tell us a secret. Yeah. Anonymous caller, what's your secret? The secret that I'm going to tell you is that I gave Mayno the shank when he went to fight ball over breakfast early in the morning. And oh. This camp's a day. Oh, my God. What? I, well, <laughs> listen. Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, Shams. I know it's your voice. It's I know. Anonymous. Yeah, yeah, this is not. No, no, it's not anonymous. What's up, bro? How you feeling? Oh, no. I can't call him, baby. You know I love you. I had to let him know. That, no, that, listen, that. we, we, yeah, we, we Wait, off that. We ain't. What do you have we, going on here? Yeah, this is my guy, though. This is this is my guy, Sham, uh, Sham, Big Sham Shadeen. Sham, so uh, hold on. What was this shank? <laughs> Sham. <laughs> He's talking old jail war stories. Uh, <laughs> now, what made you decide to give Mano a shank? Oh, oh, he got to go. Uh, <laughs> Mano, you can't. Yeah. I, this is I, not. I, yeah, this is not okay. the hotline for old Mano war stories, for oh, real. Like, my gosh. I didn't know that that was going to happen. All right. Well, that was that's crazy. Fine. Is he a legend? Yeah, I guess he's a legend. <laughs> 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 oh we couldn't have expected God. that, though. Who would have known? 
know. Hey, he has a distinct voice. I knew it was him. All right, Sham, Shank, whatever. <laughs> Sham, Shank, Redemption. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. I can't. Yo. All right. Let's do another one. Hey, Anonymous caller. How are you? I'm good. Uh, you want to share a secret with me and Mano? He's not going to judge you. Yeah, so my ex, I caught him cheating. He was texting somebody who's supposed to be my friend. So I act like I didn't know, and I played it off. And I did something, and he found out and broke up with me, and I cried all the way to my other boo house. <laughs> to your other boo's house? <laughs> yeah, well, she found yeah. him cheating first, so she cheated back. Did that help? Yeah, it helped, because now he want me back. He knows he lost. So you told, I definitely you told cried them, all the way to my other boo house. You told them you knew about his what he was doing? Yeah, after he left me. So do you want him back? No. Oh, no, you don't want him back? Too little. He wears seven and a half. I'm straight. Oh, okay. Oh. You got little feet. So you're trying to say little feet means other little... Uh, yep. All right. Y'all have a good day. Thanks. Thank you for sharing. God bless you. All right. Well, that was Tell Us a Secret, 800-292-5150. If you couldn't get through, we are always on deck. We hear here. Your secrets. We outside, baby. Yeah. It's way up. Whether it's relationship or career advice, Angela's dropping facts. So you should know. You should know. This is Ask Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and I'm here with my cohort, Mano. Yeah. He is an no, award-winning no. advice award giver. Yes. And we're ready for Ask Yee. Look at you. You're so ready. Yeah. I give the greatest advice. All right. Well, Shane is on the line, so we're going to see about that. What's up, Shane? Hey, Angela. Glad to get through to you guys. I listen to y'all every day. I'm in an interracial uh, relationship. I'm a white guy. Um, my girlfriend is a, a black girl. Love her to death. We've been dating for over about a year and a half now. Um, the ring is on the way. Woo! My question is, we get stared at a lot. It really bothers my girlfriend. Okay. Uh, to the point where we don't go out to bars and places like that because she just gets really worked up doesn't want anyone to like confront us i'm a product of a, a interracial relationship myself uh, i can feel your pain because other people's prejudices and biases can really affect uh your situation and i hate the fact that it bothers her to the point where she doesn't even want to go out anymore i want to say oh, this yeah. you cannot <laughs> control how other people react to you but what you can control is how you react to their reactions but I never want to give anybody the power to make me feel uncomfortable or awkward. If anything, I'm going to make you feel uncomfortable right. and awkward stand, back. Yeah, stand on your business. If, mm -hmm. if that's the choice that you made and that's the decision, you went back, you went black, never going back, you should just stand on that. And don't, it don't matter if they're staring. Give them something to stare at. Yeah. Yeah. And be like, hey, can I help you? Or take a picture to last longer. Yeah. All of those little lines that you can say to people who are ignorant. Smile for them. Embarrass them. Yeah. We love each other a lot. So I want us to be happy as possible in public. Don't let people have the power to make you feel like I can't go out anymore. That's I'm not right. doing this. Y'all go got to have each other's back. You got to laugh at these go ignorant out, people. They this probably is... be by themselves, too. I do get a little jealous when people come up to me or us and be like, my girlfriend, oh, you are so beautiful and everything. I'm like, you should be proud of that. Yeah, you should be. You should be proud of that. <laughs> you should well, be. I am proud of it. But, you know, I would like a compliment or two myself. She's clearly better looking than you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But listen, that all is a testament to who you are, that you were able to bag her and that she's in love with you. Oh, yeah. There you go. Listen, be proud and just deal with how you react to people's reactions. You know it's coming, so you get ready for it and just make sure you go out and have a good time. Yeah. People hate that. Yeah, own it. People hate that happiness. If they want to hate, give them something to hate on. That's right. Oh, yeah. Hate us because they ain't. All right. Well, thank you for calling. Thank you so much, Angela. I really appreciate it. And you too, Mano. New right. Mano. Okay. New, New Mano. Mano. <laughs> he even said it like a white guy. All right. All right. Well, that was Ask Ye, 800-292-5150. If you couldn't get through, we will still take your question via voicemail. And when we come back, the owner of the world famous Carbone. It used to have a Michelin star. <laughs> they don't have a Michelin star no more? No, not, not? anymore. You know what? You We're going to ask it? him. We're going to ask him, you know, when we come back. And Carbone Beach is happening this weekend. It's like a four-day event in Miami, four-night event in Miami for the Formula One race. But it is a amazing ticket to be able to get into. Mario Carbone is going to be joining us. It's way up. Had a 
dream of living wealthy. And I don't mind sharing my wealth, dog. Getting you straight financially, mentally, and physically. This is Wealth Wednesday on Way Up with Angela Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and this is very exciting because we have the very famous, well-known chef, Mario Carbone, here with us today. We've all heard of Carbone. I love the fact that you as an entrepreneur, some people might think as a chef that this is something that was like a restaurant that was passed down from generation to generation. But this is something that you really built yeah. from the ground up from scratch. And you were kind of led in this direction without knowing. Mm -hmm. What did you think a uh, young Mario Carbone would be doing? I thought I was going to play for the New York Mets. All right. And at around eight or nine, I realized that was probably out of the cards. And I think the next thing I've, I've I knew I had love for was food. I didn't know what that meant yet, mm -hmm. but I knew I had love for it. So I took that and I started, you know, odd jobs in the in the kitchen with my mm -hmm. grandparents as a little baby, like cleaning peas and doing things like that. <laughs> um, and I parlayed that into working like after high school, like after school and high school, local restaurants on weekends just to make a little bit of money. Mm -hmm. And I found love for like the professional commercial restaurant. and. I didn't love school. Like traditional school just wasn't for me. So like as I was heading towards graduation of high school, I decided, you know what? I'd rather take a chance on this unknown thing that I have a lot of passion for mm -hmm. and I don't know where it's going to take me. Mario Carbone, the owner of Carbone is here. When you talked about the odd job that you had um, working in restaurants, I know you worked at like a crab shack yeah. and <laughs> seafood restaurants <laughs> and things like that. Were you at all ever like cooking the food or just pre prepping or sweeping up? Like what were those odd jobs? It took a while till they let me cook anything. I was probably 14, 15, 16 when I started working in, in kitchens mm -hmm. in the neighborhood. And the first few jobs are like the introduction to the salad station or I worked on a raw bar. I had no idea how to do that. Really small tasks, uh, a lot of prep work, learning how to use a knife really, you know, for the first time. But this is all a great education, though, without you even realizing it. Because I think yeah. when running a business, even knowing how to do all the things that it takes is important. Because some people invest in businesses or open a business and they don't know like all the ins and outs of it. So how can you train staff to do yeah. things that you don't know how to do? How can you ask someone to do something that you don't know how to do yourself? Right. All right. So then you did, however, after school, go to culinary school. I did. Okay. Yes. And what made you think that that was the next move to do? Because you already didn't like traditional schooling. Yeah. To be honest with you, back then, I think it was really that there was a degree involved. Mm -hmm. So that felt like there was a level of legitimacy there. Okay. But... I don't think that's necessary. I think that you can go to the university of choose your great restaurant, mm -hmm. knock on the back door, tell them I'll start at the bottom and I'll work my way through in lieu of going to a major school. All right. We got Mario Carbone. Call us up if you want to get a reservation. I'm just kidding. It's damn near impossible, but you can get on that list. 800-292-5150. Maybe leave him a message. We got more with Mario Carbone when we come back. Had a dream of living wealthy. And I don't mind sharing my wealth, dog. Getting you straight financially, mentally, and physically. This is Wealth Wednesday on Way Up with Angela Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mario Carbone is here for a Wealth Wednesday to Talking about how he got his business started because you know the restaurant business is one of the hardest businesses to get into but we're going to get into it with him now i want to talk about movies like i see all these culinary movies now like um the menu mm -hmm. i don't do you watch movies like i this? watch them yeah okay is it really like that because i see how strict it is like with the food preparation and they make it seem like the restaurant owners are like the top head chefs of everything are so Rigid. Well, Have I'd you say, come across that in your experience? Yes. I mean, okay. I would say in the in the fine dining world, it's a very militant environment. Mm -hmm. The consistency of your work, it has to be nearly identical every day. So, so there's somebody above you who's got a very keen eye on your work all day long. Are you like that? Have you ever been like that in any way? As a, are are there some? level of okay i have to be militant with my staff as i'm training when you were first starting and, and training your staff yes i think that there's absolutely a level of precision that mm -hmm. we demand i'd like to believe that we do it in a very humane way okay um so finding that balance and i think that my generation is doing a great job of that i also feel like for you there's a lot of things and details that you have when it comes to your restaurants you have 40 restaurants now, is that correct? 40? 40 some odd, yeah. Mario Carbone, the owner of Carbone, is here. And to have Carbone Beach. 
Yeah. That's about to happen. So let's talk about what Carbone Beach is. So it's in its third year now. So as well as the actual race. So the first year when the Formula One race was coming to Miami, we sort of decided, well, this is going to be the biggest week of the year in Miami. We need to do more than what we're doing. So we hatched this plan to build this giant structure on the actual sand of Miami Beach. And we wanted to do a over-the-top sort of extravaganza. But dinner and a show turned way up, where there's giant ice sculptures full of like, you know, seafood delights and caviar stations. And there's musical performances happening everywhere. There's like 50 chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. It looks beautiful. If it's you crazy. Google the pictures right now. Okay, go ahead. It's crazy. So it's just, it's taking the idea of Carbone, the idea of the restaurant and amplifying it to the max. Um, for this weekend, that is the max of Miami. Now, I also want to talk about Michelin stars because Carbone did get a Michelin star. I think it was in 2013. 2013, we got a Michelin star. Two years ago, they took it away. I could go down a rabbit hole with you on Michelin. That is is uh, in a, the opinion of one. But I honestly think that this day and age, the power of the food critic is really in the hands of the person through social media. Right. Never before have food critics mattered less. All right. Well, Mario Carbone, thank you so much. And again, for Carbone Beach. Yep. Is it going to be possible for people to still use their Amex? It's and absolutely possible. Okay. But we're, we would love to have you Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be special. We're some great surprise guests coming out performing for us. Ooh, I can't even imagine what that's like because I've seen the list of who's performed in the past. So. It's going to be great. Well, thank you so much for coming through. We're going to continue to follow you. I'll, you. I'm sure I'll see you at the restaurants one day. Mario Carbone, thank you so much. My pleasure. You can watch the full interview on my YouTube channel, Way Up With Ye. And when we come back, you guys have the last word. <laughs> This program is sponsored by BetterHelp. Therapy can bring out a whole new you, and BetterHelp makes it easy to match with a licensed therapist. Get 10% off your first month of online therapy at B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash way up. Pick up the phone. Tap in. Tap in to get your voice heard. What the word is. Here's the last word on Way Up with Angela Yee. What's up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mayno's in the building. New Mayno. New Mayno. New Mayno. Listen, I just got an unexpected um, check today. I like those. I got a couple checks in here, too, though. Just pop right up. Yeah. I like, that. I like when that happens. It makes you feel like you did something good. Bless. It's a blessing. <laughs> Even though it's money you earn, it, but sometimes don't stop, it just pops up. When it up. comes, it's really good. Because I'm not going to lie. I just had like an old tax bill I didn't know right. about for my business corporation tax. And it's I was like, what? Stop. With the penalties. And yeah. I was like, man, sometimes you spend some money and then it ends up coming back to you. So that's yeah. a great feeling. That's why you got to be a multitasker and a <laughs> multi-hyphenate. You got to be doing a lot of different things. But don't forget, you guys, um, you have the last word. And ladies, Mano is available and he is looking <laughs> to get married one day and settle down. Don't be afraid to shoot your shot. Hey, Angelia, this is your boy, Abdul, a.k.a. Fresh. Uh, I love your show. I just want to shine a light on to, you know, my beautiful wife, Lena. She's amazing. She's a rock star. We have two beautiful girls. Uh, you know, without her... None of this would be possible, and you know, we were able to secure a house. So, I just want to shout out a uh, light on to my beautiful wife, Lena. Thank you, and of course, my girls as well, too. Hi, my name is Queen. I'm calling in from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm door dashing right now. I want to shine the light out on myself because I've been struggling. We're homeless, I'm staying in a room, so I door dash all day long just to make sure I can keep a roof over my kids' heads. So, yeah, I'm shouting the lights out on myself. Have a blessed day, y'all. It's showtime. Yeah, I'm about to tear it up. You tapped in and way up with Angela Yee. I want it now, Al.